That was just episode four. Nanda? ちょっと落ち着かないね。お前、度胸あるな。なんで俺かなり落ち着かないもんよ。ははそういうこと。メニューでございます。なんなりと申し付けください。お、well、guess <笑> <laughs> Sir, we are 18. Why? Is 18 the drinking age in Japan? Maybe. えっと。銘柄のご指定などございましたら。すみかくん。君の好きなものを頼みなさい。え、ずるい。何かご希望はございますか? <laughs> それではこちらでお選びしてもよろしいですかはい。前菜の方はいかがいたしましょう。え、えっと。すみません。はい。ただいま。何頼んでもいいんですよ。いや、ですよ。オーダーフォーケットスーパービーフボールライト。はい。お
So used to the hard bed back in my room. Uh, man, today's dream was super vivid. Almost felt like I was actually there, because you were at one point. Feels like they're getting clearer and clearer every day. Yes, go on. Morning. Huh? Uh, watch out for. Ah. Uh... Aga. Try not to run into anything else on your way back. Could you have been up the entire night? Uh huh. They were watching your dreams, Duder. Yeah, good night. Funk. Aga. Is she feeling alright? Sure hope she makes it back to her room okay. Good luck, Sumi. I'm rooting for you. Good morning. Shouldn't I be asking you? I mean, I did have a dream, if that's what you're asking. Huh? What? What does that mean? They're memories. Huh? They're not? What are they? Wait, is he existing in both worlds at the same time? What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. What the hell is she trying to say? I mean, yeah, but... Yes. 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 When you said I'm here because I willed myself to be. Because he's existing in both worlds at once. And that's why Yuko was so obsessed with him in Extra, because she knew there was something different about him. Not just because he had all the ladies clamming all over him, like there was something legitimately different about him. So let me get this straight. You're telling me I just vanished into thin air while I was dreaming? Consciousness, not your physical body. Yeah, I didn't think so. Besides, I've already made a conscious decision to stay in this world. At least until I can prevent the downfall of humanity, anyway. Mm -hmm. So somehow he's coexisting in one world at the same time as the other. That's... Well... Huh? So he essentially died. Wait, my brainwaves just stopped? Doesn't mean I was technically dead? That's what's been happening to me this entire time? I feel like I should be thanking my lucky stars that I haven't already died in my sleep. What do you mean? Of course I do. Okay. I'm following so far. Uh, oh crap, now I've done it. Okay, so it's almost like... So it's almost like he stopped sleeping and he was awake again. Is what she's saying. She says like during the day when you're awake, it's hard to study them because of how fast they move. But at night it's easier because the brain slows down. So that means if it, if they stopped reading it, he either went brain dead or it was as if he was awake and fully conscious. However, he was not conscious in this world. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I don't know what kind of fucking supernatural being Takeru is, but Jesus Christ, this is getting so much more insane than I ever expected it to.
Y yeah, more or less. I knew some of those words. つまり今回の現象は、通常はその動機性が高まって、脳波が観測しやすくなる睡眠時に、何らかの原因で脳波が高まって、脳波が高まって、その結果、あんたの脳波を捉えられなくなったというわけ。その原因というのが、My brain activity is spiking because my consciousness has been going back to my world. その可能性は高いわね。あんたのリアルな夢が元の世界の現実で眠っている間、あんたの精神がこの世界から向こうの世界にシフトしているんだとすれば、睡眠時なのに脳波が全く観測できない状態を説明できる。Not in a million years did I see this shit coming. Holy fuck. Um, but isn't that just. Well. 何 It's just a hypothesis, right? So you can't deny the possibility that the actual explanation is something much simpler, like an illness or something. Oh, Baka son, eh? Huh? Echo Sekai or Ido Stekta toka, Zikan or Sakanobotta toka, Sasha. So ste, Anta wa atashi o natok saseta. Zibunga mos kyoku de, Mirai o ii ateru koto ni ute ne. Right. Anta ga show me sta time slip to you, Jizitsu. So it's more than just a dream where he's re experiencing a previous memory. He's actually going back. He's coexisting in both worlds at the same time. That's. Insane. That's fucking insane. So you're telling me he is in both worlds at the same time. He did not leave the world of extra and come to the world of unlimited. Well, no, somehow he did that too. No. Somehow his consciousness has somehow found its way into the body of the dead Shiragane? But if that were the case. Yo, it would be a, a corpse, a dead body. So obviously, you wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't be alive. How did he end up in this world then, if he somehow manages to exist between both? I have so many questions. I, I, I just, I have so many questions. I don't know. It still seems like quite the stretch. Compared to everything else going on, does it, dude? Though I guess this entire situation has been pretty unbelievable from the outset. Yeah, exactly. Huh. There's no denying that I've gone back in time, so it would probably be a good idea. Oh, excuse me. To give her the benefit of the doubt. Though that would also mean accepting this notion that I've been going back to my world in my sleep. I'm not gonna lie, that seems pretty freaking far fetched right now. I mean, why would I be going back to my world in the first place? Anta wa, ishi ga yuraida jiten de sekai o idou shite shimau kamo shire nai tokushu na ningen da っていう話はしたわよね She did say that. Ah. Ah. Ah, I just, I'm just, nah. I don't know what to think anymore. This game has broken my mind, quite honestly. I'm. S well, yeah, that's what makes it so hard to believe. I don't have any reason to go back there right now. Oh, don't you? You've been seeing the、uh, dreams. Yes, really. Right now, my main priority is saving the people of this world. It's way more important than getting back home. What are you trying to say? Is this about Kasumi? It's because Kasumi and Sumika's similarities have been starting to get to me. Uh huh. So now that he thinks that there's a hope of seeing Sumika again, it's starting to. Okay. So that was happening in Unlimited, but he didn't see the similarities between Kasumi and Sumika. And that's why 
after, yep, it's after Kasumi took off from the ship, and that's when he first started to have thoughts, like serious thoughts, that Kasumi and Sumika were connected. At the end of Unlimited, during the epilogue, he, he realizes, like, holy shit, they've, they might be connected somehow. And immediately after that is when this picks up, when he's traveled back in time. Wow! Okay. Okay. So because he still, there was still, he still wanted to go back to his world in Unlimited. He had the dreams, but they slowly faded away. In this one, he didn't have them at first, but they started returning and returning more vividly. Because now that he knows the similarities between Kasumi and Sumika, he's starting to view the possibility of going back to his world. He has a reason to want to go back to his original world. Is he going to cause Sumika to manifest in this world? Instead of him going back to the extra universe, is he going to is he going to be the cause of her manifesting in this world? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh, I don't I don't I don't know if I'm ready for what for this shit. <sighs> okay, let's go. No, that can't be. I mean, it doesn't even bother me all that much. Yeah, there's no way. じゃあ原因はあんたを引き戻そうとする世界の力にあるというわけね。お。は。あんたはその意志が揺らぐと世界を移動してしまうかもしれない人間。でも今その意志は揺らいでいない。No, she's onto something with the conviction. He hasn't had a lapse of conviction. He doesn't want to stop protecting this world. But uh he doesn't want to stop protecting this world, but his brain's starting to want something, have a reason to go back to his previous world. It's not shaking his conviction to protect this one, but all of a sudden the desire to go back is, resurf is resurfacing. And that's what's causing these dreams, and it's growing stronger and stronger. The reason he hasn't been swept away is because of his conviction to stay in this world. That's gotta be it. Wow. God damn, this is fucking crazy. I'm loving this right now, quite honestly. I am loving this. R right. Demo Zanen Nagara, swimming to no whiskey, Kimadeva, Kakshogana. Kokomadeva, you know. Yes. Whatever, Anta no Mari no Ninja, you treat him a year in the year. Ima no Shirogane Takeruva. Oh. The people he's formed with the bonds with are what's keeping him here. And one of the endings, regardless of who you romance in Unlimited, is whether or not you decide to tell your love interest to go off in that on the space shuttle that goes off to another world in which case the one thing in that instance the one thing that was keeping him here in the unlimited timeline was that love interest once they're gone he starts to lose some of his conviction to stay and that's I'm that moment there is what pulls him back to the beginning of all to what is now the beginning of alternative What do you mean? Anta ga kono sekai ni kakaware ba sore dake, Anta ni tai suru tanin no ninshiki wa fukamatte iku. Sore wa wakaru wa ne. Right. Okay. Right. So nareba, shirogane takeru wa koko ni iru te, minna ga omou yo ni naru desho? So nna yatsu inai te itte mo, dare mo shinji naku naru desho? So wait. Are you telling me he's going to start believing that Sumika exists? He's going to be adamant. I know she exists and somehow she's going to once again, somehow some way he is going to be the one that manifests her into this world. That's got to be the case. I see. 
あんたの自身の意思と他人の認識この2つによってあんたはこの世界に存在しているということは What I don't understand is how we ended up in, the wor- in this world in the first place. Like all of this, it is actually making some kind of sense to me. I'm following their thought process. How did he end up in this world then? How did that happen? I've still not got an answer to that one. She's saying if he loses conviction in a. There's been nothing to make him lose conviction in. The extra universe. There's never been a point where he's like, I just, there's no reason to, for me to stay in this world anymore. Like, not necessarily like that. That sounds very dark in con- without context, but, you know, he starts to think, like, there's nothing, like, major that's holding him down to this world, like in this world. Like, he does have all his friends there, but he doesn't have quite the bond that he's formed with the ones here. He knows these other ones, but they're not like, yo, these homies that he's seen battle with, you know? So, how. Hmm, I still don't understand how he's made it to this world, though. That's the answer I want. That's the one answer I really want right now. That's the one answer I don't even have, like, a hypothesis for. Some of these questions I have, it's like, I have an idea of how, of how we get there, of how it happened, so on and so forth. How did he get here? How did he get here? That's, that's the big question. But when we're asleep, my resolve isn't as strong, and they're not actively perceiving me. Okay. And that's why he's able to slip back into this world. Into his world, yes. Okay. That makes sense. How did he get to this world, though? So, so, no, Kekka. この世界とあんたを結びつける力が弱まっていって元の世界があんたを欲する力を下回った瞬間シフトが起きる。So as his friends in this world start to wake up in the morning, that's when he gets pulled back into this world. Okay, hold up. 何 That's the part I don't get. You keep saying that my world is trying to pull me back or whatever, but why would it? Obviously not. I'm not you, Sensei. Right. In its original state. Um, okay, but what do you mean by stable? Okay, and? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. They will. Uh huh. Okay. I get the analogy she's trying to make. That this world we're in now was unstable. So it took to care. So Takeru didn't slip into this world. It's not his world is pulling him back, but it wasn't his it wasn't him that brought himself here. Somehow the forces of this world pulled him into it because this world was unstable. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, yeah, I think I get the picture. So then I'm kind of like an electron that's been released from my atom. <laughs> もとの世界を構成する電子の一つで何らかの原因でこの世界にシフトしてきた。オッケー。でもそれはおそらく正当な取引ではなかったと思うわ。What do you mean by that? Okay. Oh, I see. 
that means this world's unstable now too because it's taken on an extra electron. So instead of it being like three and one, it's more like they were already two and two, and this one took one away, so now it's one and three, and so the one with one is trying to take its second one back. And it's causing this rift with Takeru himself. Oh, it's crazy. That's fucking, oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm following, I'm following, let's keep going. Stabilize. Don't want to be stable. Oh, so that's why my old world is trying to pull me back. Yeah. And this world wants to send me back. Then how did he end up here? I'm right back at fucking square one. How did he end up here? If, his, if the extra universe is trying to pull him back and the unlimited slash alternative universe is trying to push him away, how did he end up here in the first place? How did that happen? That's the one answer I need right now. I, I get that. I get that. This world's trying to eject him, the other world's trying to take him in, but he's too bound to this world to let go. How did he get here though? How did he get here? And then there are my squad mates in 207 and the rest of you who've accepted me as one of your own and kept me in your thoughts. I, I get that. I get that entirely. That, that part I understand. The one question, the one and only question is how did he end up here in the first place? How did he somehow shift into this world? That's what I'm not getting. How did that process take place? He's held here by his own convictions and his friends and allies beliefs you know belief in his existence but when he first got to this world he had no conviction to stay in this world these other people didn't know who the hell he was why was he brought into this world yeah so then what if I actually wanted to go back to my world what then Wait, then that means I could go home if I wanted to? I could go home. I I could finally go back? <laughs> but I don't think that's true. But I don't think that's true. Because in unlimited at the beginning there was nothing he wanted more than to go home he wanted to go home that was his goal was that one day he could go home that was at the very beginning when he had no real conviction to stay here there was nothing he was truly fighting for in this world he knew of these people he knew of these people from his original world but he didn't actually know these people he wasn't close with these people what kept him here there has to be something more there's something they're not they haven't quite given us yet there's one key detail as to how he's gotten here and how he stayed here until the point that he developed his own conviction to stay here there had to have been something else that was keeping him here through most of unlimited there has to be. Go on. Huh? Wait, what? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you well, that title was called, the ep name of this episode is Coming Home. That's what we saw. 
やいくすもしかして精神だけが戻ってそれきりなんてことも And he was just like a brain dead puppet here No way, I can't have that でしょだから今は帰ろうなんて考えない方がいいわ、uh, OK <laughs> Seriously, I mean I'm not leaving till I finish what I came here to do <laughs> And then the music just starts up Oh Conviction restored <laughs> But I am a little concerned now. I mean, there's not a whole lot I can do about what happens when I'm asleep. So, ne. Ma, I'm a little bit of a d Are you going to give me drugs to keep me awake? You do? Eh? I'm a little bit of a drug. 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 Oh, yeah. せいだしてせいぜい周りの認識強めておいてちょうだい。あは。So what happens after the HSST incident? What happens next? The, yeah, there was the Aimine Chizuru incident, that whole big conflict. Then after that's the volcano, right? That's, that's the next big event? The volcano? Got it. <laughs> 